it is not a question. Uh, I want you to uh, describe how you uh, look at the woman in the media and what is your thoughts, what, what are your thoughts about the woman in media? Good morning, <coughs> dear esteemed uh, Vice Chancellor and uh, speakers and students and faculty. Uh, this is not a structured a paper or something, but uh, it will be some some of my comments on women on cinema. So first I first and foremost I extend my gratitude <coughs> towards this university. So uh, to speak on representation, uh, women representation in cinema. So when we are discussing the subject of women in cinema, it is more important to rephrase. It is as gender and cinema, actually. Gender, we all know that, uh, like, there are lots of marginalized identity here, transgender, bisexual, lot, lot. we can, we know that. So if we are, like, uh, like when uh, focusing on mainly on uh, women, it is, when we put it as a gender, it is more a broader, broader uh, concept and it is uh, like uh, rather solely on women, better we can put it as gender on cinema. So when I think about women uh, in cinema, I have to go back to my childhood actually. I am uh, sorry to say that I am coming from a vernacular university, Malayalam as this, uh, like the, when you are like, uh, this occasion is pretty much uh, like uh, uh, joy for me actually because my university is mainly for Malayalam language. We are teaching cinema and journalism all in Malayalam so they can more uh, like uh, do their activity in Malayalam and they, they can correct uh, the roles in uh, Malayalam itself. So it's like uh, so happy here for this, such an occasion. So when I'm thinking about my childhood days, actually I uh, grew up by watching Malayalam cinema. Uh, uh, like my like my village is a very remote place. So in my home, I have in television. So I used to go my neighborhood house to watch movie. It is every Sunday we will go and watch a Malayalam movie. So in that time, when I was watching Malayalam movie, I was very critic about the role of women in cinema. Actually, in that movies, they are portrayed as wives, mother, and <laughs> we all know that. In, even in my childhood days, uh, I was critic because this is not I am. I'm damn sure that this is not I am. And even uh, my, like, uh, the women around me, my mother, my, like, sisters, and the neighbor ladies, all are so much different than the portrayal of women on screen. So uh, then a time passed, cable came. That time there is no table, uh, cable connection. So the empty number of movies I have watched through inter uh, like cable, there is no internet at that time. So uh, like wherever I have seen like or all the movies or serial, whatever it is, like the portrayal, there is a homogeneous portrayal of women. Everyone is like that they are crying. If a fight scene is happening, uh, they are waiting for someone to save them. <laughs> the women always like that. They are waiting for someone. They can actually, uh, like, they have spaces to uh, respond, actually. And even they can hit it back, but they won't do that. They were waiting someone. And I know that in my childhood, in my classrooms, I'm not at all like that. And I know that my mother, and they are quarreling with my father. Then why, and this question is always there in my mind. Maybe that's why I become a Critic, actually, I needed to uh, question what is happening on screen, silver screen. That is my uh, like major point. Uh, I become a film studies uh, like researcher, and uh, in my time, actually, uh, like uh, doing research in cinema was little. Uh, like a taboo in my like village actually. What you can study in cinema? It is like you can study literature or you can study, you can go for engineering or something. What is studying in a cinema? And if you are, uh, they are afraid that I have a, a like uh, interest on acting or something. They are very much afraid of that. Like why I am uh, like showing this much interest. Uh, especially in cinema. So that much cinema is uh, a kind of, like in a village especially. So, 
so the thing is that um, this kind of portrayal always irritated me in a way. So uh, that made me uh, like at a, every situation, the oh, each and every movie runners of movie, I keep on asking these questions that, uh, especially in Malayalam movies, like, uh, like there are some movies, there are like objections in it, there are some very good art house movies, they really portrayed uh, like women, but I'm especially talking about the box office movie or the movie got accepted. And it is not only, I'm saying, actually we always go for the discussion about the role of women or the representation of women in cinema. Apart from that, we have to focus on the main representation in cinema. How almost completely we left out of cinema. It is, that is very important that women in any full, fully human form have almost completely been left out of cinema. The complete female is let, left out of cinema, that we know that. Like they are very passive, very submissive, we cannot identify such women that as we said. So that is very important to look at it. So, so the thing is that uh, like we uh, understand gender roles from what we see on uh, TV or whatever it is. So how, mu how, uh, how much I am critique on these roles, but I am practicing it same way because I understand what I have seen or I what I am practicing what from I am getting from my family so uh, how much we wanted to break all these stereotypes but we are going through it that is our uh, kind of like uh, what I say so it's always happening actually so uh, we uh, like when uh, the another question these are just uh, my questions only then the one of another important uh, like question is there are women uh, everywhere in cinema, actually, but we don't know them. Even, you know that the, f the first fiction movie maker is a lady. What is her name? In world cinema, Alice Gay Blaché. You may all know, maybe. Now it is popular, actually. But who is Alice Gay Blaché? She did the movie at the time of Millie's and Lumiere Brothers. But very few people are known her. And in, when I am teaching in film studies department, uh, students know uh, George Millis, Lumiere, and from there they know all male filmmakers, but they know very few female filmmakers. There are very good movies, and they uh, like did their uh, like uh, uh, like their vision. They portrayed it very well. And even the patriarchal world cannot understand the language of female director might be. So that is another problem maybe because they are telling that I heard the story that it is not aesthetically good. What is aesthetics? Who is creating this aesthetics? That is another problem in it actually. So cinema always believed to entertain, to take the viewers into an another world and it is like different from the real world. So in that another world, we have seen so many constructions of homogeneous women. They are wives, they have kids, they have very much uh, like uh, worried about their family. If she is a professor, then she is also worries about her family. If she is a collector, then she only worries about her kid and her family. There is never we have seen that her any uh, like academic problem or her, a, a, any kind of a thinking or thought process. Nothing we can see on uh, like cinema or on screen actually. So where are they and when we are uh, like in uh, terms of um, public sphere, uh, like what is public sphere, you know, the people who gather and share their ideas in common way. Uh, so this is a public sphere, but I'm so happy that there are lots of women are here and the uh, principal itself is a woman. I'm so proud of it. And in film studies department, now I'm the head, head, head of the department. So there are uh, progressive uh, like changes just are happening. But now the problem is where is the intellectual women in cinema? And still we are like me, may, maybe madam also thinking when we are sitting here, we have something around our back of our head that our family, our home, we are roaming around with the men <laughs> surrounding us. Like, we, we wanted to make them comfortable actually. Other, otherwise, others will uh, like uh, expect us to do that. 
So th that is there always. But when we are thinking about a man, uh, and many of my friends, they are like these days, they, ha they have given their script to me. Ma'am, please audit this. Is there any uh, like uh, uh, wrong dialogue or politically incorrect? That is the word now is very popular. Politically incorrect dialogue. Please rewrite it. But they, they don't know that how to rewrite. Because they are they are not at all political actually. How do they political? Because they are not used to it. The 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 detailing of each and everything for for if a lady she know the nook and corner of a house. If you ask a man, he never know where the kitchen is, maybe. <laughs> so it's of course happens. So even uh, even if you are asking about a utensils, so the detailing of life is there with the ladies actually because they are simultaneously doing lots of things. I'm just going uh, like sticking around another things. So the thing is that what feminism did on cinema is very important thing. Uh, like they analyze the process of stereotyping. What uh, like a house cinema stereotype women? That is they analyze properly. And the cinema, they like we all as we all know the uh, like film critic and all, uh, all says that the cinema is a construction from a male point of view. And how this male point of view is they, how they constructed women as a desire uh, of object. Uh, when we are seeing a uh, woman, there are lots of space to showcase her charm and beauty on cinema and there is no space, uh, space at all to speak about her thoughts and her problems. It's sometimes the, her problems are there but it is very sympathetic and all people are started to cry when they're seeing their problems. No one is the, there are, when like in my uh, experience or uh, the women or the strong women or maybe most of the case women are solving problems uh, like in, even in my house also, my father is quite weak actually and my mother is solving each and every problem actually. But the uh, like <laughs> thing, everything has come to uh, like his, uh, like my father is like recent for all this and such kind of things are happening. So this feminist approach to cinema asks few questions. That is like how cinema or how women are represented on screen that we already discussed and then how women's issue are portrayed in cinema. That is also, that is another problem. And I told that then the like working class women all are come in a very sympathetic way. They never show that they, uh, how they fight. And they are not an ideal actually. There are very like, uh, even uh, violent women are there. And never we can see such portrayal on cinema. So uh, what does uh, feminism did is, uh, or I like, what is feminism for uh, like female filmmakers? We we has we don't need to put it as female filmmakers, but the reservation is sometimes it is needed actually. That is an another question we have to like go for a paper on it actually. So then another one is women is uh, like how the women is portrayed and what are the role of uh, female filmmakers. And there are some questions they like keep on asking throughout the ages. Then the feminist theory took up a distinct stance in relation to the objectification, exclusion and silence of women in cinematic narrative. These three are very important. That objectification, how women are objectified on screen and the exclusion, like the public sphere. We cannot see a public sphere. We cannot see a lady. Always their spaces is uh, supposed to be in the private uh, house or wherever it is. They, they are, when we are seeing a program, if they are conducting a program, always the wel welcoming part and the uh, like uh, reception part will be for women. So they are always doing that. The men, men are always for speakers and all. Like the intellectual part, we can see the secondary citizenship are there very much evident in, in there. Then another uh, thing is that silence of women in cinematic narrative. In all cinematic narrative, we can see that, as I said, that in a fight scene happen, uh, the women are waiting for someone else. And something happened in their home, always they are waiting for and someone else. They won't uh, respond. They will suffer, suffer, suffer uh, until their death. That is always portrayed in, their, uh, in movies also. So examining the representation of women in uh, uh, cinema, 
Indian mainstream cinema, I'm especially talking about Bollywood, has a prominent position in this global film industry that we know. So from the inspection, uh, inception, it just uh, like captivated the women with this vibrant charm of women always since the beginning. Uh, this captivating sequence and this iconic character of female. <coughs> so uh, still. Uh, since that period, cinema has been a part of discussion and criticism, and it has uh, evolved a bit. That we can find in our uh, like recent cinema. <clears throat> so this, uh, like traditional narratives or stereotypes, when we are traditionally Indian cinema depicted women through predetermined stereotypes centered around women, men that we have already the, their role as uh, this mother. The, in the first phrase, we can completely see that mother, uh, mother, sister, and wife. Then uh, they are very much submissive, sacrifice, and devoid of agency. They don't have an agency to uh, respond, actually. And then we are coming into, I'm just going a little bit of history. Then the, after that position, then 50s to 80s. During that period, what happened, uh, there are representations, even we... We have a uh, um, bit critic about it, but still in Mother India, we can see that uh, like the women, uh, they are challenged with the social norms and uh, overcome the adversity. Uh, there are critic on the same movie as well, but uh, there are, it's a kind of portrayal actually. Uh, it is there, but la it's largely revolved around love triangle and family dramas and melodramatic sequence. And from 50s to 80s, uh, there we can see the same thing actually. And the another thing is that uh, women are, their spaces in this uh, like melodramatic uh, like uh, sequences. Uh, but if they like, there are, we can see that uh, song sequences, they are like, uh, like their costumes, they are really like an object of desire. That always comes in a song or, or dream sequence. Where it is dream, she can be act like that. In their home, she will be an ideal woman. This like dichotomy is always there. So the men are dreaming about her or she herself dream about her. That time she will be very liberal and she can do uh, cabaret dance and whatever it is, item dance. Earlier it was cabaret, then now it is called item dance. Item dance is, I'm not uh, like uh, critiquing item dance, but still like it, she her body is an object of desire over there. So this change, this shift we can uh, see through the, but that that representation is comes only in dreams. Such kind of uh, it's a context. There would be a context, and otherwise she is not a good uh, woman. Uh, she is a, uh, it's completely portrayed as she is a bad woman, and she has some other background. So she is opposite of the heroine. For the heroine, highly the heroine, we can see the other of uh, other lady. So that is there. And then the, the third uh, phrase of cinema is that the rise of independent women. It is uh, actually, uh, there are exceptions. I'm just uh, talking about the uh, like box office hit movies or accepted female characters only. So in 1990s, what happened? Indian cinema witnessed a significant shift. We can know that there are lots of uh, female-centric films are king and the emergence of independent women on screen that started to portray. Uh, for example, uh, the uh, film fashion kind of movie. These movies are uh, like... Uh, placed, uh, it is more realistically portrayed, the women, multi-dimensional women. So they are uh, like, uh, they are started to worry about their career, relationship and their life conflict. Maybe the, uh, the, this independent women and their conflict and their career uh, problems are started to portray and their independent firm. So they are a little bit uh, like liberated from the family and family is there always and men for them also family is there but when we are portraying something there are other spheres of their life is there then uh, the fourth phrase that is breaking barriers and uh, shattering stereotypes so we we st uh, started to uh, shatter the st stereotype uh, representation in one of malayalam movie it is called jay 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 hey uh, it is available on uh, like netflix 
in that movie this uh, heroine is uh, like slapped the uh, hero like anything and uh, he just so she, she hitted him like anything so for that uh, act of uh, like uh, her her activity for that cinema how cinema portrayed it is very interesting in the throughout the movie we can say that she was uh, watching youtube videos to fight and she is studying karate and for hitting him back she is studying through youtube karate and all and she is make prepare herself to hit him back so the way like people can believe that she can hit him back that is the problem in it they are the producer and the director thinking that she cannot be able to do that so they wanted to give reason for uh, why how she is doing that otherwise the whole movie she is always uh, enduring the suffering and uh, like uh, in the last she just finish her life like that so uh, there are some movies like piku piku kyun and kahani we can see that the uh, strong like there is a character uh, like female uh, character we can say that it's a female character so the age agency the female agency is there <clears throat> so it started to break the stereotypes and go progressive independent and it's time so can i take five more minutes yes. <laughs> okay <laughs> then the challenges is still challenges uh, like uh, there are i have lots of examples actually uh, like in bollywood when we are uh, looking into uh, women that there are white black good or bad this dichotomy there is no in between shades for women only this dichotomy because heroine or opposite to her so this is always there and this mythical characters add on ideal is the sita always we can see that even avara also we, uh, we can see that the main character is similar to sita so her suffer all her sufferings are there and she is keep on suffering she is an ideal woman so this is always keep on uh, there and at, at the same time they institutionalized with the patriarchal value uh, cinema is an institution to uh, like keep this patriarchal value there are that lots of examples like devi paramashiva and gauri such movies they are like institutionalizing this patriarchal values and as well <clears throat> then this uh, like when women is idealized they cannot do any crime or anything wrong actually so for example the movie abhiman uh, the, the movie begin with the premise of a wife we, we all know that then uh, she is very more talented than her husband then what happened finally she is like give up all her uh, like career for him and for uh, like uh, for the male ego that is the so Uh, always this has happened that she is so sacrificing for the family now like this uh, uh, like this kind of presentation is uh, in a way it is started to uh, shatter and new kind of narratives are comes someone who don't want to uh, like uh, marry and some some of the ladies she can uh, like to be an independent life they don't want to marry uh, wish to marry and they they are taking their career uh, as cinema and or many other field they even uh, like they never do until their life such kind of things are happening in nowadays in movies but the problem is where is the intellect women so there also same dilemma is there that were as intellectual women women is always a secondary still we are thinking that always what cinema doing that they keep on uh, like make you think that they are representing women uh, they are uh, portraying the problems of women but at the same time they are doing the same stereotypical position uh, it is taking the same stereotypical uh, stereotypical position always so the uh, when we are talking about the intellectual position uh, still there is a void in cinema it is very much so now maybe uh, like since and started from since halis gle uh, blashe she is the first woman she is the owner of solat studio first studio in the world and she has done so many movies more than 1000 films but no one know her yet 
not yet there are people and there is one movie uh, one documentary uh, like came on 2018 uh, be natural an untold story of alice clay brashe if you didn't shock is here you could have uh, like once uh, screened that movie here and uh, it's a very good movie and uh, telling the story of alice clay brashe so where are these women that is another question there are always women in film industry but we are telling that there is no women that is another narrative so women space in cinema is always put in narratives that we have always take care of it when they are thinking that you are progressive there is a trap in it <laughs> so uh, think about what is progressive what you are and another problem this these are my like shattered ideas i'm just sharing with it it is not a proper structured paper, paper. and another thing is that uh, then when we are speaking about uh, some feminist point of view after some point the old men are become feminist and they are putting it in a high level actually maybe that we don't want it we may be go with a medium a medium level of things this is not i am uh, speaking about the difference between man and women not at all don't take it as like that i am telling that in the perspective there are women in the perspective of male actually and the male are in the perspective of women so who uh, those who are uh, like uh, their vision is in a uh, feminist point of view men or women uh, who have this feminist point of view they are take care of that when they are telling uh, like when it, someone is telling about you about you are progressive there is a trap in it and there are lots of narrative again happening uh, so uh, like we are actually an uh, i just talked about women transgender and other community as well we have to Uh, be more open to all and there is no hero narrative in this days all are heroes and all have their own space that is uh, there should be uh, there for an like in a country like india so this multiple multi dimensional multi faceted or uh, multi uh, type of uh, identities are there we should be uh, like more open to include all that is my uh, like <laughs> view on women on cinema thank you